Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a video here on clarifying um, pub friends uh, for a couple questions that came up. Um, when you decided to come here, there is a team, and any time you go into physical with any kind of amnesia, um, you have a team that supports you. And this team that supports you and is involved with this whole process is pretty big. It's uh, quite a few number of entities that are involved in this. And the sizes of them vary uh, depending upon you and them and what you decide to do, how long you're going to be here, what's the storyline, so to speak. But some people call this group your soul family or your soul group or something like that. I think I've heard but whatever you want to call I call them my pub friends uh, because uh, some of those other words get to be so ooh, ah, ooh, that people lose the plot they use lose the the point of who these beings are and uh, number one they're your friends and ultimately they are you because we are all one so this group that you hang with that are your uh, you interact with a lot, uh, you, your interests are similar, then you will get all together in this group and uh, you decided that you wanted to come down and play like you're a human. Now in that process, depending upon what your goal was or what experiences you wanted to have in this producing and directing this game that you're playing as a human then you would have said things like okay I need somebody who is going to play the bad guy in this situation in this situation so I can have this experience and think of everybody else all the other collective conscious beings that you bounce around from just think of those as extras and all of the main players in your um, story are your pub friends all of them okay so now the exception to that rule before I go any further there is an exception to that rule and that is with star seeds and although on a higher level even this activity I'm getting ready to, to uh, describe even it is approved <clears throat> on a level on a higher level, so to speak. <clears throat> and any starseed that has been messed with, one of the switcheroo babies, or any kind of bad guy stepping in and trying to interfere with what your story is, any of that interference, uh, they are not your pub friends. So you might have uh, the majority of the bad guys in a regular case and certainly in a human's case the regular bad guys are that that has caused you to struggle and experience bad things they are one of your pub friends the ones that interfered with what you had planned that came in kind of after the fact so to speak and they interact much more on a uh, the earliest, of course, switching you is in, at birth into another family, and then they might um, interfere by being one of your kids. Uh, the bad guys on that are outside that are not your pub friends uh, might be um, a boss or or someone who, well, you know, anything that causes you struggle. But you should know the difference. You should be able to look back at that now in this stage of the game. You should be able to look back and tell the difference in these two um, roles. Now, if you're a human, which we do have quite a few humans now um, on this channel, if you're a human, all of the people that you would consider bad guys are your pub friends and they did they played the role of the bad guy at your request so it, as a human you've got and as the normal experience as a star seed because you didn't just come to help guy you did come for your own experiences too and they're very very diverse um, and because you had 
this whole life in amnesia or a good portion of it in partial amnesia at least you have the opportunity to have experiences in this 3d 4d human body and you you do not waste it uh, we never waste anything so you would have planned for other experiences that are human on the human uh, duality spectrum and anyone that you had asked you ask your pub friends about this or that and ask them to play the role of the bad guy so you could have this experience those are your pub friends now if you can't tell the difference between these two bunches it really doesn't matter because the entities whether they are your pub friends or whether or not they are the bad guys that uh, came in to cause you trouble uh, both of those beings 90% of the time are going to stay bad guys in your life until they die and then on the other side you will see them the ones that are playing the the bad guys as far as uh, the bigger picture like the reptilians or any of those dudes you will uh, see those entities that played those roles because still I don't care if they are the bad guys I don't care if they're the reptilians draconians or anyone above uh, it doesn't matter they are still impartial amnesia and they are still creator gods and you still will see them on the other side when they're out of character when they take off their suit and the ones that if you can't tell the difference whenever they die and you go outside of time space you will be able to identify them and they'll They'll be outside of their skin suits or their reptilian suits or draconian suits, whatever. And you guys will laugh and carry on about what a wild and crazy ride that was. That's what will happen. I guarantee you that's what will happen. Just like my analogy of the really scary roller coaster ride, right? That's how it will be. Or a play uh, where there are good guys and bad guys and the curtain goes down. And when the curtain goes down, everybody jumps up, takes off their costumes, runs to the pub and laugh and carry on about what much how much fun playing the good guy or the bad guy role was that's how it's done so it doesn't really matter whether they're your, the the bad guys in this scenario are pub friends or not so let's throw out the bad guys because they're really not a part of this scenario so now who else are pub friends well you can have like i said you can have your pets that are pub friends you can have uh, your uh, family members that are pub friends. You can have uh, really good friends throughout your life that are your pub friends. And when, if these people, uh, so all the good guys in your, your support system, the good guys that are in your life, that you feel very, very, very strongly towards. So here you can see this, this theme. When you feel strongly about an individual more than likely they are your pub friends if you feel strongly about them in a negative way if you feel strongly about them in a positive way more than likely they are your pub friends even the bad guys in the fourth dimension the reptilian draconian group um, that cause you a great deal of trouble you won't have that really strong feeling you will you may fight them you may be annoyed with them but there will be a subtle difference between your pub friends playing a bad guy and the bad guys playing a bad guy there will be a difference uh, hopefully at this time you're getting close to not having bad guys in your life so you can look back at it and perhaps tell the difference but for now uh, that is the difference whatever you feel strongly about good guys or bad guys these are your pub friends now and your um, pets there is more but I don't want to go over it in, in this video yet yeah I don't want to go over it yet uh, I'll do it on a separate video but there are several roles in your life that that um, cause you to have very 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 strong feelings and these are indeed your pub friends now let's talk about the good ones your pets your best friend your soulmate um mate that you're married with married to or live with whatever 
all of these beings will be at your side until they pass. Okay? When they pass over, when they die, then they will take off the costume and they will get in the group of pup friends that are surrounding you and giving you support. So they will play the role of the good guy or the bad guy to have you to help you have the experience that you wanted to have or the pet or the boss, whatever. They will play these roles. Your pub friends are, are also playing roles down with you on this planet. And there also will be, there's a possibility that there will be pub friends that are with you as you step into 5D. Uh, now, the pub friends that are here playing these roles are also in amnesia, unless they're a pet. Uh, because the pets rarely are in amnesia. And if they are, uh, they're probably only go up to probably 25-30% as a pet of a human. They might go that much, but they go in, they stay in the now and they go moment to moment. Uh, they don't hold grudges like humans do. Uh, they just don't do that sort of thing. So... There is a possibility that you could have pup friends that are on Earth with you, next to you, and as you go into 5D, they will get their memory back, just like you will, and the two of you will look at each other and go, wow, that was amazing, and you'll remember everything, and it'll be, you'll know, you'll be on point at that. You'll recognize them for who they are. But the ones that die, whether it's a pet or a or um, somebody who's a bad guy, or a good guy, family member, soulmate, whatever. When they pass, they will join the pup friends that have been supporting you without ever coming to the planet in physical. Okay? So they don't do just one job or another. There's movement. And, of course, I am simplifying this because it's actually much more complicated than, than this. But that gives you a basic idea that your pub friend, your friend that is a pub friend that came down to be your familiar cat, it will go back whenever they die, whenever they pass over, they will take off the cat costume and stand with the rest of your pub friends around you as you continue your physical uh, journey on Earth and to support you. Okay, they also will add a lot of knowingness. Anybody who is uh, was in physical form, whether it was a cat or human being, they also will uh, add a lot of knowledge base to the pub friends. So it's a huge advantage when any of your pub friends that come down here that are by your side die, and they're now standing with the pub friends that have not come down uh, to live in the world. Uh, it it definitely lends a lot of uh, additional insight on what you were going through, what you're dealing with, whenever that happens. So that is another reason why they do pass away, is so that you can, um, you can, they can get up there and communicate with your pup friends that have never been in physical and let them know how it works, how it felt, what it was like immediately. So that is another reason why people die is they may be pre-planned that ever so often when your pub friends dies to get up with the crew and just kind of give them an update on what it's like to be um, physical. Okay, does that help? Hopefully that clarifies some things. Alrighty then. So, I guess that was it for this. Alright, huge hugs. I uh, love you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.